Welcome back to the second video in the Visual Studio extension series. So this video, I have two extensions that I'm going to talk about today, and I'm going to show you them right now. So just as a reference, I'm in Visual Studio 2019. Just, I don't know if it's different, but that's what I'm using. So let me make myself a little bit smaller so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so if you go to the top, you should see extensions and then go to manage extensions. And then go ahead and go to the online tab and then search for open with. Go ahead and search for that. And both of them are right in this list. So the first one is open in Visual Studio. And what this extension does is when you go to your solution explorer, so all the files on the right hand side, uh, if you right click one, you can actually just click one button and it, and it can open the file in Visual Studio code. And this is really helpful, especially for certain file types, especially for JSON file types, I found. Um, v VS Code seems to work a little bit better for uh, larger JSON files. So go ahead and install that. Um, I've already installed it because I don't want to show that in the video. <laughs> so go ahead and install that one. And then the second one I want to talk about is this one here. So open in Notepad++. And it does the exact same thing except in Notepad++. And if you don't already have that installed on your computer, I would definitely recommend installing that. I'll put a link in the description below to the download link. Um, it's free, and if you don't know what it is, it's like a super uh, lightweight text editor, but it's got some really key features that help a ton in software development. Uh, it's got one feature that can make like a diff between two files, and I use that all the time. Um, so definitely check that out if you haven't. So once you have both of those installed, you will have to restart your Visual Studio. Um, but once you are back to this working state here, you can then go to any file and go ahead and right click. And you can see two new options right here. So you can add, um, you can click open in Visual Studio code and it's gonna open up um, my app settings.json. Oh, that's the release notes. Man, that does that to me all the time. It always, <laughs> it always takes me to like a new tab with like the release notes and everything. Um, so let me close out. Man, this was from a previous video, my, some of my old programs I was working on. But let's close that out. We're not, we're not doing that right now. So this is the app settings JSON file here uh, in VS Code. And again, um, let's go ahead and install the C sharp. Oh boy, this is, we're going on a rabbit hole here, guys. Hold on a second. So while that's installing, this is the file that I opened up. This is all the JSON contained in here. And VS Code is super nice because you can toggle specifically on, you know, on JSON. And it just works better than Visual Studios because I'll, I'll show you why one instance here. So you can see here it's set to JSON and there's no green, um, like any kind of like IntelliSense garbage on here. So if, but if we go back to Visual Studio, you can see at the top, at least for me, uh, the type of scheme applied to the document is not supported. And you get a bunch of those like weird IntelliSense stuff, especially on larger um, JSON files, like any kind of like config file in any larger solution. Uh, it's just, I, I don't like using Visual Studio. Something about it just, I don't know. I just prefer VS Code for certain file types and JSON is one of them. So. If we, for whatever reason, didn't want to use Visual Studio Code, we can do the same thing, but Notepad++. And we get a really lightweight editor like that, and we can edit it and save it, and it all, it's like, we, it's like we're using, you know, the same editor. So, again, this is just super helpful, and I have these installed on my uh, work machine that I do all my software development on. Um, and what I was saying before about the JSON files, I pretty much try to exclusively use VS Code for those type of files. But anyway, those are just um, two more extensions I wanted to talk about today. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any extensions that you all use on a regular basis, uh, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have another video in the series coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much. Have a good one.